I'd like to welcome you to the United States Mint in Denver, Colorado. Follow me and I'll show you where money is made. So this is where money is made, you may ask. Well, yes and no. Usually, as everyone knows, money is usually made the old-fashioned way. You first have to earn it. But before you can even do that, money must be physically produced in some way. So for the next few minutes, we're going to show you that production process. Money is actually manufactured by huge high-speed machinery. That's right. All you simply have to do is put the raw materials into one end of these machines and in a few minutes, it comes back out at the other end as money. Pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, even dollar coins. Seems simple and quick, huh? Well, actually, there's a little more to it than that. So let's take a more in-depth look. While the Denver Mint does produce money, it also makes commemoratives, numismatics, special medals, and is America's second largest repository for gold. While a federal agency, the Mint's public affairs officer, Guillermo Hernandez, told us the Mint operates differently than other government agencies. It actually costs the taxpayers nothing to operate. Well, the United States Mint is an organization that is actually uh, comprised of four manufacturing facilities, one gold repository, and a Mint headquarters in Washington, D.C. We have four different functions, actually. We, the most uh, common or best known is the, the fact that we produce coins for commerce in enough quantities so commerce can run every day. We also produce numismatic products for collectors. We pr uh, produce coins and gold, platinum and silver for investors, and we safeguard the nation's gold reserves. We don't rely on tax appropriations to run our business. We are run like a private factory would be in, in private industry. We are responsible for covering our own cost, or if you want to put it another way, for paying our own way. Wow, a government agency that pays its own way. Well, to find out more about this unique operation, we tagged along with some of the Mint's tour guides. First, here's Ron Aguiar welcoming a group of visitors. Folks, I'd like to welcome you all to the United States Mint in Denver, Colorado. We have four mints in the United States, and none of the mints have ever made paper money. Paper money is made by the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, and they're located in Washington, D.C. and Fort Worth, Texas. So the four mints are Denver, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and West Point, New York. Denver and Philadelphia make your circulated and uncirculated coins. The San Francisco Mint makes proof and superproof coins for collectors. And then the West Point Mint, just outside the West Gate of West Point Academy, makes the gold and platinum coins. Uh, we're one of your few government agencies that actually uh, make a profit. We uh, operate on a basis of seniorage. Seniorage is the difference from what we make the coins for and what we sell them for. So last year, the United States Mint actually made $825 million. We're one of your few government agencies that actually makes total sense. <laughs> so if you'll follow me, we'll go in to start the tour. Thank you. <laughs> 